constant in prayer. To the Lord in the hour of my distress, I call and he answers me. O Lord, save my soul from lying lips, from the tongue of the deceitful. What shall I be with return, O treacherous thumb? The warrior's arrow sharpened, and coals spread out lazy. Alas, that I abide a stranger in measure, dwell among the tents of Kedar. For long enough have I been dwelling with those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for fighting. Things visible and invisible. 
For 
he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Blessed be Almighty God who watches over us as a Father. He knows all our needs but wants us to seek first His kingdom. Let us cry out to Him as His people. Father of all holiness, you gave us Christ as the shepherd of our souls. Stay with your shepherds and the flock entrusted to them. Do not leave the flock without the loving care of its shepherd. Do not leave your shepherds without an obedient flock to follow them. Teach Christians to help the weak with loving care, and in serving them to serve your Son. Gathered into your church those who do not yet believe, and help them to build it up by good deeds done for love of you. Help us to turn to you for forgiveness, and as you forgive us, reconcile us also with your church. For our priory and for the needs of our brothers, uh, for our oblates, which are oblates, friends, and benefactors from vocations, and for those preparing to enter the church this Easter in our parishes. Pope Francis. May the dead pass from this world to eternal life, to be with you forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father of mercy, hear the prayers of your repentant children who call on you in love. Enlighten our minds and sanctify our hearts. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And those who are in our My virology of March 30th. In the middle of the 7th century, St. John Climacus, monk, a native of Palestine, he withdrew to the desert of Mount Sinai after having finished his studies. He wrote the ladder to paradise, a veritable summa of monastic spirituality. Because of this work, he is considered first among the mystical doctors of the Byzantine Church. It also merited for him the name of Climacus. At Vercelli in Italy in 1472, returned to God of Blessed Abadeus. During the seven years he reigned over the duchies of Piedmont and Savoy, he labored for the good of his subjects, especially the poor. Because of this, he was able to avert a seemingly inevitable war. 
He did penance and reserved time for prayer. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of numerous other saints whose names are inscribed in the Book of Life. The Marmot Chronology. Sister Odile was born on March 1st, 1921, at Lyon, France. At 18, she entered the Benedictine Sisters of Verneuil, where she made temporary profession in 1941, and solemn vows in 1944. In 1965, she joined the Benedictine Monastery of the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, where she spent nine years. Upon her return to France, after some years with the Benedictines of the Compassion, she spent some time with the Apostolic Sisters at Rome. There she lived as a contemplative among the sisters. She left an example of reading and joy. The Lord called her to himself on Good Friday, March 30th, 2018, at 3 p.m., at 97 years of age. We fly through patronage. O Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. The angel of the Lord declared that and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. And the word was made flesh. And the Lord was us. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed, blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Wherefore, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. 